What up, HyperChange? Welcome to another episode. Today, we're talking about Tesla's Model Y and its production timeline. The Model Y, Tesla's crossover SUV, unveiled in March of this year, um, is set to debut in fall of 2020, or that's when customer deliveries are planned to start for its long range edition, standard range deliveries in 2021. This is address addressing the crossover SUV segment, which is the largest and one of the fastest growing sectors of the entire auto industry. So this product, uh, Tesla has even guided that this will be their best selling product, potentially outside selling the Model S, X, and 3 combined. So as much attention as Tesla's planned production capacity increase in China has been getting with the Gigafactory 3 set to come online in a couple months, that's going to be amazing. But what's been happening and, and people have been paying less attention to is the planned capacity expansion in Fremont for the Model Y, which is already moving forward and I think could be indicating that we are getting closer and closer to Model Y production and Tesla may have been sandbagging with its own timelines. So just last week, Dana Hull or Dana Hull of Bloomberg uh, came out with a report uh, saying that GA Tesla was filing permits with the city of Fremont to begin construction on GA5, General Assembly Line 5. This is, uh, they, they think for Model Y, but they're not sure. I'm here to tell you that it's almost 100% certainly for Model Y, at least in my opinion. I mean, Tesla on their last conference call said that confirmed that they would be using Fremont as the location for Model Y. So everything is starting to make sense. Um, and what I think is really, really interesting about this is you'll remember last time Tesla had to set up a General Assembly Line, it was GA5 four in the infamous tent. And here's an Elon Musk tweet just to remind you how fast that happened. He says, amazing work by the Tesla team, built an entire new general assembly line in three weeks with minimal resources. Love you guys so much. So the point I'm trying to make here is Tesla's just filed for a permit for a new GA5 general assembly line in the, in the Fremont factory already. This could be moving really, really fast. They set up the tent in just three weeks. So Tesla is already moving forward and starting preparations for the Model Y at their Fremont factory. Additionally, I found this website called X Auto that has a really good article about the Model Y potentially coming early, and they found this other document filed with the city of Fremont that is a plan to expand into the parking lot, reduce the number of parking spaces. Also, another hint that they're building that new gen general assembly line or expanding to, to put in that general assembly line. And also, I was reading on Reddit. This is why Reddit is is amazing um, on, on you know just commentary about this Bloomberg article three different people said they went on a factory tour in, in the last week or so. This guy says just did a factory tour on Friday and there's a decent size of the floor right in front cleared out and walled off by construction barricades. Doesn't seem big enough for another GA line, but who knows? Another guy says on our tour, they specifically said it's the line that the Model Y is uh, being set up in the construction zone. And then another guy in the same thread says took the tour on Friday, definitely a major assembly line under construction. So take these all with a grain of salt. It's just Reddit comments. But I mean, putting all these pieces together and there's a final puzzle piece that I want to put together here which is at the shareholder meeting back in June um, you know I was sitting about one row I was in the third row the board of directors in the in the first row so literally like four feet from Tesla's board of the directors and when they show the slide with the timeline of the Model Y and Elon saying we're going to start deliveries of the long range in fall of 2020 there's almost like this look and this wink and the smile um, between the board of directors and then they move forward Another clue to consider here is Elon Musk on the Ryan McCaffrey Ride the Lightning podcast when asked about the Model Y unveiling and how that went, said it went pretty good, but he didn't go all out for it because he didn't want to cannibalize Model 3 sales as they were just getting that off the ground. So what am I trying to say here? I think there's a huge, huge sandbag going on from Tesla. And if you'll think about the biggest mistake with Model 3 production, you know, uh, was really just communication. They were way too aggressive with the timelines and that is what shot themselves in the foot. And so if there's one lesson to learn from Tesla, it's be really, really conservative with timelines, do something you're going to be able to hit. Uh, my question was just surrounding as, as a long-term investor, I, I hate to say this, but I feel like my trust in Tesla's timelines sort of eroded a little bit with the Model 3 ramp. So should I keep discounting things on Elon time or you guys, have you learned anything about this? Yes, Gally. Um, I think I do have like an issue with uh, time. Uh, <laughs> it's like, yeah. A sort of naturally optimistic person, um, which other, which I would not have probably done cars or rockets if I was not. Um, but um, so I'm, I'm trying to recalibrate these these estimates. Um, yeah, <laughs> um, try to recalibrate as much as possible. Um, yeah, I. I mean, I probably put some sandbag on future dates. That's probably wise. Um, but I, I, I kind of 
stay with say when I, I think it can occur, but then I'm t typically optimistic about these things. Um, but maybe less, op hopefully less optimistic over time. And the third layer or next layer on top of all of this is you have to assume Tesla's pace of innovation in the manufacturing level is incredible. I mean, this company, they set up GA3. It was the whole over automation debacle. Then they set up GA4, solved those issues, are building a next generation production line in Shanghai. Every single production line that Tesla builds is less CapEx, is faster time to get up and running, is much more efficient. And so you have to think their ability to get this Model Y, you know, with the amount of similarities it has with the Model 3, this ability to get the Model Y production line up and running really quickly in record time has got to be there. And so anyway, tying this all together, this episode is sort of more of a theory than anything concrete, but building on this GA5 permit news that came out, I think Tesla is already making huge moves at Fremont to get ready for Model Y production. We're still a year away from when they say they want to start long range deliveries. I think that could be a sandbag and this could hit even sooner. But even if they're just on time with Model Y, I think this is a hugely overlooked catalyst. I mean, we're already in fall of 2019. We're just 12 months away from Tesla rolling out it's what is set to be its best product ever, the Model Y, literally coming in about a year or potentially even less. And so I think as much excitement as there is from geographic expansion into China, which is going to be huge, there is a separate layer of growth that is not that people aren't, aren't realizing that's about to hit, which is a product lineup expansion into the Model Y. And I think this is setting Tesla up for tremendous growth in 2020 and potentially 2021 as both Shanghai Giga and Model Y ramps. Anyway, this is HyperChange. Would love to know what you think in the comments below. Do you think Tesla is secretly prepping to launch the Model Y sooner than fall 2020 because I think there is a good chance. Anyway, see you guys next time. Huge shout out to our Patreon supporters, producers, fun in the channel. Peace.